Hi guys, welcome to the video on solving inequalities using addition and subtraction. Okay, before I start the lesson, I just kind of want to make a statement. Um, please be sure when you guys are watching the videos and taking the notes that you are actually absorbing what's going on and not just blindly writing stuff down and then not learning anything. The whole point of this is that you're supposed to take it in and have something to study and then I can help you if you don't, there's something that you don't understand. Okay, So if you're confused about how I want you to do the notes, just come talk to me and, and we can talk about it. Alright, so we're going to solve inequalities and we're right now we're just going to use addition and subtraction. The cool thing about the inequalities is that we're really doing the same thing. So real quick, on your paper you have these two things. You've got x plus 2 equals 12 and you have x plus 2 is less than 12. So before we even start, it says on there, what is the difference? Right? So if you notice, the difference is you have an equal sign here, but you have an inequality sign there. Okay? So we know that. Right, so now we're going to go ahead and solve it. This one on the left is just a simple equation. I know you guys can do it in your head, but let's go ahead and just do the work because it helps. So if we have x plus 2, we're going to subtract 2 from this side and 2 from that side. So x is equal to 10. Okay, we're going to do the inequality. Same thing, minus 2, minus 2. We're going to solve it the exact same way. So the 2's cancel out, we get x, and then 12 minus 2 is 10. And then you're just going to take this inequality sign, and you're going to just move it down. All right, so when you're looking at that, it's talking about the difference between an equation solution and an inequality solution. Okay, an inequality, I'm sorry, an equation solution, which means this equals, there's only one solution. And I can't spell, sorry. One solution. That's it. X can be 10 and only 10, because 10 is the only number that you can add to 2 and get 12. Okay, this one is saying X is less than 10. So we're talking about any number that is less than 10, not including 10, will satisfy that equation. So let's just try it. If I did, if I plugged in a 10, just to see what happened, it would be 10 plus 2 is less than 12. And that means 12 is less than 12. Does that work? It does not work, so that's not true. Okay, let's pick a number that's less than 10, so let's do 5. So 5 plus 2 is less than 12. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 is less than 12. Okay, so when you have an inequality, you can have multiple solutions. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and write that. So inequality, you have multiple solutions. That just means that one or more, or sorry, more than one thing will satisfy that inequality. Okay. Um, the thing that it says down there about set builder notation, we're not going to worry about that. But if you are curious, not spell. If you are curious about it and you want to know what it is, just Google it for your own information. We're not really going to use it. It just happened to be on the notes. Okay. All right. So this one says, when solving inequalities with one variable, everything is exactly the same as solving an equation. Okay, so we're going to do the first one together. So the first one is x plus 14 is less than 16. Okay, remember, you would solve it the same way as if it looked like that. They're the same except for this is an inequality sign, that is an equal sign. Okay. So, we're going to take away 14 from this side and take away 14 from that side. So we have x is less than, remember we're just going to carry that down, 16 minus 14 is 2. So that means that the solution to this is x is less than 2. That means that your solution can be any number that is less than 2 and it will satisfy it. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and, um, actually you go ahead and pause the video, do number 2 and number 3, and then I will post the answers and you can check to see if you're correct. Okay, so here are the answers to the questions. The first one is x is greater than 28 and the second one, second one is x is greater than or equal to 16. Now just like equations, when you're doing stuff like this, you need to go back and check your answers to see if it's correct. 
Okay, so it's saying that x has to be anything greater than 28. So you need to pick a number that's greater than 28. I would always do, you know, do a simple number. So let's pick 30. So that means 30, because 30 is bigger than 28, minus 21 is greater than 7. 30 minus 21 is 9. Is 9 greater than 7? Yes. So that one works. Okay. Let's see if you were to pick a number that was less than 28, and you'll see that it doesn't work. So let's say we do 20. 20 minus 21 is greater than 7. 20 minus 21 is negative 1. Negative 1 is not greater than 7, so that would mean that you had done it wrong. So it's just a way to check it. Okay? All right, same thing with the second one. Let's pick a value that is greater than or equal to 16. So let's just do, let's do 20 again. So negative 11 plus 20 is greater than or equal to 5. And my thing's not working. Okay, so negative 11 plus 20 is 9. Is that greater than or equal to 5? Yes, it is. So that is the correct answer. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to number 4. All right, 4 and 5 are talking about you always want to have your variable on the left, which means you want it to look like x equals x is. Okay, x equals x. x is. Oh my goodness, sorry guys, my thing is messing up. Hold on a second. Okay, let's try this again. So that means they want it to look like x equals or x is greater than something x is less than or equal to something, the x needs to be on the left. Okay, so looking at the first one, we have 8 is greater than or equal to x minus 3. All right, you notice your variable is on the right, so you want to switch it, okay? So if you read it backwards, you just take, you're just taking this and putting it on one side and 8 putting it on the other. So we have x minus 3, and 8. Okay, we switched them. Now, this sign right here has to stay the same in the sense that when it was up top, right, the bigger side was pointed towards the 8. So that means when you're over here, the bigger side still has to be pointed to the 8. Okay, that's how you get it to mean the same thing. All right, and then after that, you're going to solve it. Plus 3, plus 3 x is less than or equal to 11. Okay, you can do it without switching the sides, but when we get to more difficult problems, it's going gonna, it's gonna to trip you up a little bit, so it's good to get into that habit. All right, let's do the second one. So we got negative 4 is greater than 3 plus x. Okay, remember, we're just going to switch them. 3 plus x and negative 4, and then make sure that this sign is oriented the way it was up there. So the small side is pointing to the 3 plus x. So it has to do the same thing there. Okay, so now we're going to solve minus 3, minus 3. x is less than negative 7. Okay. Okay, now number 6 and number 7 is really a review of what we did today. Okay, remember if it's greater than or less than, or sorry, less than or greater than, you use an open circle. If it's less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, you use a closed circle. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Pause the video, go ahead and graph number six and number seven, and then come back and check your work, because I don't think I need to go through that. Okay? All right, here you go. Here's the answers to six and seven. Remember, the greater than without the equal to means an open circle, and it's greater, so it's going to the right. And the second one, remember, if you've got less than or equal to, that's your closed circle, and since it's less than, it's going to the left. If you're still struggling with that, um, you need to come see me, okay, so we can talk about it, because it's very essential that you understand the open circle, the closed circle, and what direction it has to go. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the back of the notes. All right, so really all this is doing is you're just practicing solving the inequalities, okay? Remember, you just do them exactly like an equation. So 29 plus x is less than 36. 
so you're going to subtract 29 from both sides. That gives you x is less than 7. Okay, if you're going to graph that, here's your line. I'm just going to do, there's my 7, and I know that it's less than 7, so it's going to be an open circle. Let me do it with another color. An open circle, and less than is going to go that way. All right. Number nine, we got x minus 15 is greater than negative 3. Okay, we're just solving it like an equation, plus 15, plus 15. So x is greater than 12. Okay, so if you graph that on a number line, we're going to say it's greater than 12. So here's 12. And if it's greater than but not equal to, you do an open circle and then it's going that way. Okay, go ahead and try number 10 and number 11 by yourself. Pause the video and then come back and check. Okay, I told you guys to do it by yourself. Hopefully you did. But then when I was looking at it, I noticed that it's a little bit different than the ones we did up top. So if you notice, our variable is on our right side. So we want to switch it. So x, negative 3 plus x is the same thing as x minus 3. And then you move your 7 to this side. And remember, this sign has to remain true. So the bigger opening is pointed to the 7. So it's going to go like that. All right? Then we just solve. That part's easy. So x is less than or equal to 10. And I trust that you guys can graph that. You should have a closed circle that's going that way. And then this is 10. All right. Now this one is a little different because we've got variables on both sides. But you solve it just like you do an equation with variables on both sides. Okay, we know we don't want to get x's on one side, and we want to get non-x's on the other. All right. So. I don't want a negative x, so I'm going to subtract x from here and subtract x from there. So I get 11 is less than 5x minus 4. All right, now this one looks like the one that we've done. Plus 4, plus 4. So 5x is greater than 15. All right, we're going to solve for x divided by 5, divided by 5. So x is greater than 3, and you can rewrite that as x is greater than 3, and your graph of that should be an open circle going that way, and this number should be a 3. Okay. All right, we're almost done. Um, and remember, when you're watching the videos and you don't know what to do, and you're confused, you can always send me a message, a direct message through Edmodo, and typically I answer them right away. Okay, as long as it's not past, you know, like 11. Okay, so let's go on to the next thing. All right, now this is kind of just going over vocabulary that means greater than, less than, less than or equal to. Kind of like when you say, um, what's the difference of two numbers, you know, you're trying to subtract. Okay, so the first row is fairly easy. Just, you know that this is less than, and if you don't, copy it down. This one is greater than, okay, this one is less than or equal to, okay, this one is greater than or equal to. Okay, so let's talk about if you're using regular words and not necessarily the mathematical term, this less than sign could also be fewer than. You're going to see that word. Okay, so what do you think the greater than is going to be? It's going to be more than. Okay, so this next one is a little complicated, but not really. You just kind of got to use common sense. So it says at most. So that's like saying you can only send at most 500 text messages before you're charged. So that means the most that you can do is 500 and anything under that. So that's why it's the same thing as less than or equal to. So it's kind of switch. Even though it's less than, it's the most that matches with it. So you kind of kind of think about it logically. So this one, the greater than or equal to, 
if you don't know what that one is, it would be at least. So that would be like saying, I need at least $10 to go to the movies. Can you have more than $10? Yes, but you need at least $10, otherwise they're not going to let you in. All right, the other ones, there's nothing here, okay? So this could also be no more than. That means you can't have, you can have no more than three zeros, okay? So the most that you can have is three, but you could have two or one or zero. Okay, this other one is no less than, which means you can't have a grade your grade can be no less than an 80. So that means it can be 80, but it can't be anything smaller than it. So it has to be greater than or equal to. Okay? All right. Down to the last ones. Okay, for these next ones, I want you to go ahead and try and do them. You know, set up the equation first or the inequality first. Then you're going to solve for the variable. Um, go ahead and pause it and try these six and then come back on and just look at my work and match and see what you did. And then if you have any questions, you can ask me when you come into class tomorrow. Okay? All right, go ahead and pause the video and do those problems and then come back and check. All right, so here are the answers for 12 through 17. Um, go ahead and check them and see if you have any mistakes. Um, if you do, just kind of, you know, see how I did it and find out where your mistake is. Um, you can finish the video, finish the notes, I would look over them, make sure that you understand them, okay? And then tomorrow in class, if you don't do the homework at home, which is okay, tomorrow in class when you're working on this second sheet, your notes are there to help you, okay? So that means that you're not going to say, oh, Ms. Henry, I don't understand how to do this because you've got examples right here, right? And until you've exhausted all of your means of gathering knowledge, using notes, asking friends, then I will help you, okay? But you need to kind of start trying to get information by yourself and don't rely on me because I'm not going to be able to follow you to high school. All right, well, you guys have a great night. Um, thanks for working hard in class, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, and just real quick, if you're still on, you're going to scan just the homework part and send it to me when you're finished with it. All right, night, guys.